Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate five ways to paste, link, and embed data from Excel spreadsheets into Microsoft PowerPoint. When it comes to organizing, collecting, calculating, and graphing our data, you can't beat Excel. However, there are times when we must present our data story to a larger audience. And for that, we want to use a special program, PowerPoint. Let's first select the data that we're going to use for our demonstration and copy it to the clipboard. Next, we'll switch over to PowerPoint. And our first technique will involve pasting the information from our Excel spreadsheet as text. So let's right mouse click, choose Paste. And our data comes in, but we can have control over how it's actually pasted. Look down here in the lower right corner, and you see our Paste Options menu. For this technique, let's choose Keep It as Text Only. So now the information from Excel has been pasted into a PowerPoint text box, which we can resize and we can move. However, we no longer have our functions. We no longer have our calculations, just the results of our calculations. For our next technique, and remember the information is still on the clipboard, this time we're going to choose from the options to paste a picture of the table. Once again, right mouse click for paste, come down here to the icon that is the paste options and choose to paste a picture of the table. Notice that it says small file size. And now when this information comes in, it's a picture of our data, which again, we can resize, we can, re, uh, we can move, and also notice that when we choose this option, the picture toolbar comes on. So if we wanted to, for example, format the picture, if we wanted to increase the contrast, we have all of those options. But we cannot select any of the individual cells in here. Everything is captured as a picture. For our third technique, we are going to paste the table. We're going to paste the information from Excel as a table. So once again, right mouse click, paste, and with our options, we see that the table is actually the default setting. So keeping that now as a table, let's take a look at this. Once again, we can resize this area, but when we look at the data, let's use Control A to select everything, we see that we actually have a table. It's just like having a cell or setting up a table in Word. Each one of our cells can be reformatted just like a column. We could select all the information in a column and choose to change its font size, its font color, or anything else that we want to apply to it. For our fourth option, this time we'll actually be embedding our information. So we're going to choose to paste it as an entire Excel table, the entire workbook. Right mouse click, paste, and with our options down here, this time we're going to say the Excel table, the entire workbook, and this is going to take advantage of the Olay embedding of the application. Let's resize this. And now what you'll see is that when we actually double click on our data, that the application becomes available. So this is the embedding. Now, if we want to, for example, change our function from the sum function to the average function, helps if I spell it, now we can have that changed. And of course, we can copy this over to the other cells. And we also could change a number in here. For example, let's change this to 600. And everything that we can do in Excel, we can now do inside PowerPoint when we choose to paste it as the entire Excel workbook. Once we click away from it, then we only see the data that we wish to represent. For our last option, we're going to create a link. Now, we're not going to use the same right mouse click paste. No, what we're going to do this time is go up to the Edit menu and choose Paste Special. 
and we're going to choose to paste a link click OK once again let's resize the information here and now we have a link to our source data let's click over to Excel and let's change this value let's make it a thousand dollars and now when we move back to PowerPoint because we've established that link there's the change now we have to make sure that when we're using the paste special link that we keep a copy or keep the file for Excel in the same directory as our PowerPoint presentation so that we move it to a USB thumb drive for example we won't lose the location we won't lose the link to the information so there you have some great ways to work between Excel and PowerPoint. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.